There's a buzz around the William & Mary football team this season that we haven't felt in quite a while. The Tribe were picked to finish first in the conference in the preseason CAA poll. Still 24 days away from the season opener, Brian Parsons was in Williamsburg today for Media Day. Steps on the gas and he's gone. One of the most successful seasons in program history ended in disappointing fashion for William & Mary. A 55-7 drubbing at the hands of Montana State in the FCS quarterfinals. We had a, one of the best seasons in school history. And that, for us, that, that ruined it, essentially, because, you know, we won the CAA. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you won a CAA after losing by 50 points on television, in front of your parents, in front of your family, in front of your friends. Now it's a new season and the Tribe have tried to put the playoff loss behind them as they forge ahead. As far as, you know, last year, it was a great season, and, you know, it was great to experience that, but, you know, we have to make it that, just an experience and use what we can from those uh, learning experiences and, you know, apply them for this year, but we got to understand it's a new year, and we have, to, we have to go do everything again and, you know, go earn everything that we want to get. The favorites to win the CAA, William & Mary has one of the most prolific offenses in FCS. Coordinator Christian Taylor is the architect of the third-ranked rushing attack in the country. Nearly every player is back from last year, quite unique in today's day and age of the transfer portal. I, mean, I, I love being here. Like, for me, it's not really about, you know, trying to go and get NIL money. It's not about, you know, going to, like, a really big school. It's about I want to be where, where I'm wanted. I want to be where my friends are, where my teammates are, the people who I've, like, gone through the last two years with and struggled with and fought with. You can make $5,000, $8,000, $10,000 somewhere else through an NIL, or you can get a master's degree here and earn a six figures because you're around, you know, like I said, a business school that's one of the tops in the, you know, in the country. On the defensive side of the ball, Mike London elevated Razai Dowling and Bo Ravel to co-defensive coordinators. And while the offense gets a lot of the attention, John Pius was the conference defensive player of the year last season and is the preseason pick to win it again this year. But it's not individual accolades that he's after. You no, know, last season, you know, wasn't, you know, what we, wanted to finish as, you know, finish with. So, you know, we're looking at the bigger picture still again. You know, that's the one national championship. In order to get that national championship, the Tribe must first go through the rigors of a conference schedule. I've been in this this conference a long time. We were called the Yankee Conference. And, and on it, and again, don't mean to be cliche, but any team is, is capable of, uh, of, of beating you on a Saturday. William & Mary opens the season on the road against Campbell. In Williamsburg, Brian Parsons for the Sport Trap.